Hey y'all and welcome to part two of our modeling the boots for the character creation course video series. If you ended up on this video without watching that first one, you want to go back and start from scratch with me, go ahead and click on this card right up here. Without further ado, let's jump into the rest of it. So to create the tongue, just grab the three edges on either side of this area and then look at it from the right hand side and extrude out to roughly where the reference image says the tongue stops. And then go ahead and scale it out on the x-axis to make it look like it's going to wrap around the foot, which is what the tongue should be doing. Then we can move it over slightly on the x-axis so that way it stays inside our area. From here, I just want to move this over because the foot will push the boot out a little bit. So it's going to come away from how it's been uh, moved in in the past. And I can kind of do the same thing on the other side as well, just to widen it out a bit. So from here, let's switch to vertex select and finish off the tongue by adding in these triangles here. Now, generally I support quad modeling, but because we just need to cover this up and we want the tongue to basically stay in place because we're never gonna animate it or make it look any different, this is fine. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is move these edge loops a little bit further away because we've got this giant rectangle here and a very small face here. So we just wanna move these over by hitting G twice. So GG will then enable edge slide, which then we can move it back a little bit to kind of even out those faces. And then to make it look like there's actually a heel and an ankle in here, we'll scale those out a little bit on that X axis. So now that we've done that, let's grab these top edges here, extrude up along the Z axis, and then hold control to snap it to the next vertex in line on the back here. And then we can provide some adjustments. So switch to vertex select, and uh, we'll move these over a little bit along that edge to give some curvature for the boot. And I actually think that's probably good. Maybe we can uh, pull these out a little bit further on the x-axis, not a whole lot. All right, and then the last step here is really just to shape up the side of the boot so it looks like it's wrapping around the front and continue essentially what we just did again and again and again. So we're gonna go ahead and hide the tongue here. So control numpad plus and then H to hide it. And then I guess we'll leave those two triangular faces in place. Now let's look at this from the right, go to vertex select and hit F to find a new vertex. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll just grab that vertex F and then place it roughly in the same place. Okay, so now we can turn on X-ray, grab both of those vertices, position them a little bit better and position these a little bit better as well. From here, essentially we'll repeat that same process for the top all the way up. Okay, so the base of our boot is complete. And at this point, we just need to shade it smooth. So right click and then shade smooth and then turn on auto smoothing and increase the angle of our auto smooth here. And say something like that is gonna be fine. So for me, it was 58.4 to get a real smooth boot look. So now all we need to do is make it so that if you're looking at this boot, you won't see in between the laces and realize that there is no foot. So to do that, let's just select the four faces on each side of the boot here and come over to our property panel under the object data properties, this upside down green triangle here. And we want to add a new vertex group. And and we can just call this group solid and then click assign. So now if we deselect it, it'll unselect all of those. And if, just to make sure we can reselect them to make sure that that is the group and we applied it correctly and there's no additional edges or faces or vertices in that group. For now, the last step then is to add in the solidify modifier. But instead of having it create an edge all the way around, since this boot will never be seen, we just want to apply it to the solid group that we created there and increase that thickness a bit just so that it intersects with the tongue. Now with that solidify modifier, we can see that it's actually going to um, you know, leave a gap here, which would be fine, but let's just scale that in a little bit more on the X axis. and leave it like that. And really we can even go so far as to like 
take it down just a bit. So that way it's pretty high and tight towards that. So now that our boot is finished being modeled, let's check to see how it works in relation to the rest of our stuff. So let's pull up the original boots and bring it back the pants here just to see how it's going to fit. And it actually fits pretty well with the overall size and shape that we had originally set up for our boots. So let's hit tab, go into edit mode, and then look at this from the front and move it over on the X axis until it encompasses that boot there. We'll undo that scaling, but then we wanna come up here to the top and uh, pull this boot up just a bit further. So go from here to here, and then all of these, and extrude up on that Z axis until it basically intersects. And uh, I can take this a little bit further and we'll move these in a little bit on that Y axis. Cool, so now we've got our boot and it is good to go, but we need to mirror it across to the other side. So just add a mirror modifier and there we go. So now we can hide those original boots and it looks like we've got some pretty solid boots for our character. And we bring them all back. This is what we're looking at. Now, maybe those boots are a bit long, but maybe not. It kind of matches the reference that we have quite accurately, I suppose. So the last thing we have to do for the boots is add shoelaces. I'm gonna get you guys set up with that and then time-lapse the adding of the shoelaces. And then we'll come back for a tiny little bit at the end just to wrap up this phase one of the character creation course. So we need to create these laces as their own separate object because if we add a skin modifier here, things are gonna get really wacky. So let's just select one of these vertices here and hit Shift S to then move the cursor to select it. From there, we'll hit Shift A and add in a plane. It doesn't really matter because we're just going to select everything, hit M, and then merge them at the center, which is at the cursor currently. Okay, from here, what we wanna do is add in a skin modifier and hit Control A to scale that all the way down. Okay, and at this point, it's basically just to extrude off and create for yourself laces. Now, if we really wanted to, we could then add a subdivision surface modifier onto this, which will uh, make it a little bit more curved and like a real shoelace. And then essentially you just go around so we could then extrude a little bit further and then extrude again and come through the laces so just like that and you take this up and around like that and then extrude again and you do something just like this all the way up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and time-lapse this and I'll see you guys at the end.
All right, so you've made it to the end of the video and it has been a long video for modeling shoes, but the last step is this. So with the laces, once you're happy with how they've turned out and I'm pretty happy with it, apply your skin modifier, apply your subdivision surface, and then select the boots as a second object. So make sure you have the laces selected first and then select the boots and then hit control J, which will join the laces to the boots. And now they are mirrored across the X axis and they line up on the boots themselves. And now that the laces have been added to our boots, phase one of the character creation course, which is creating all of the pieces of the character, is now complete. In the next phase, we will do some retopology, which essentially means taking our high poly sculpted mesh for our head, hair, and shirt, and making them significantly less poly by going over them again. So thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in phase two, where we start retopping the character.